Hi, this is Rachel. You bring up a really good question and a question that many bring up. Why in the world do we keep the quantities even in two columns? Well, let's say we're adding six plus eight, all right? So initially, I am having our, my students think, what is half of six, three and three? Um, what is half of eight, four and four, all right? So we'll start there for now. All right, so when we see the quantities like this, we can see immediately that we have a 10, right? So we know immediately that we need to trade. 10 tens doesn't belong in the ones column. It goes over here in the tens column. So we're gonna trade that, okay? Now, what if I had, uh, let's see, seven plus three. Do we know for sure if we need to trade if we do it this way? It's not as obvious visually. That is why we have, if we're doing seven, we're gonna do three and three plus one more. Seven plus three, which is, you know, three more beads. Oh, okay, I definitely see a 10 here. So that's reason why we transition or we make sure we divide it in half. Um, for most students, actually, it doesn't take that long to learn it as long as they're thinking in what is half of and then slide it up. For odd numbers, half of seven would be, you know, what two numbers close together, the uh, numbers real next to each other, like three and four. Um, honestly, if you, they're struggling with that, what you might want to do is just have them practice. Say, um, put two evenly in the ones column, you know, so they'll do that. Point, put four. Um, point, put three. So having them practice how to put those quantities on the abacus in, in halves, if you will, um, might be helpful. And it really, once they get the idea of it and the purpose of it, it makes more sense and then it's easier to apply. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. And of course, I'm going to follow up with you um, in the next week and see how things are going. Take care. Bye.